We are going to use this model to have a look at the idea of a carbon tax and how a carbon tax can lead to uh, a better outcome for an economy. There are two axes here. On the vertical axis we're going to use dollars and that dollar is going to represent costs and benefits and also it will represent a tax level. On the horizontal axis, axis we've got output. Um, we've also tied into output pollution because the greater the amount of output that is produced, the greater amount of pollution which is produced. This business will benefit from increasing the amount of output, but the marginal benefit will decrease. So as we get into larger and larger output levels, the, the marginal benefit of each one will, will decrease. At low levels of output, each uh, marginal benefit will be greater. So we end up with a marginal benefit curve, which is downward sloping. The business will keep on producing while the benefit of making extra production is positive, and that is all the way until here, till we reach this output level of O1. And that is the level that the, we would expect a, a profit maximizing firm to produce at. There are costs of this pollution, and the cost could be things like health, uh, the enjoyment of the environment, and things like that, but these aren't things that have a dollar value on it. These are social costs, and our social costs uh, will be zero when pollution is zero, but as we get more and more pollution, the marginal effect of having extra pollution will be greater and greater as it, uh, a small amount of pollution is barely noticeable, as it starts to get higher, it begins to be, become noticed, and as it gets even higher, it begins to affect people's health. So the cost is increasing and increasing. But this isn't an economic cost, this is a social cost. So I'm going to call this marginal social cost. Social costs are an externality. The business doesn't actually have to pay that cost, so it doesn't factor it into its decision making. The real optimum level of production will be where these curves intersect. So O star will be the, the optimum level of production. And we can see that if we were at a lower level, that the benefit of producing this output is greater than the social cost. So having that benefit is greater than the cost, so we should produce that. And we should produce along here further. The benefit is still greater than the cost. The benefit here is still a little bit greater than the cost. So we should be producing those extra units until we reach that equilibrium point. Once we, once we move beyond the O star level, if we were at this level here, then the benefit that the business is receiving is much lower than the cost to society of that extra pollution. So this isn't a good place for society to be producing at. Now again, the business doesn't have to actually pay that cost, so it won't consider that. It will keep on increasing its production beyond this point all the way until it gets to O1. So this is where, a bit, where the government can intervene and introduce a carbon tax or a pollution tax of some kind, and we'll count pollution in this example as, as carbon and we'll say that the, the government introduces a carbon tax of this level. By finding this optimum level and knowing where these curves intersect, the government will be able to introduce a tax level, a carbon tax level, which will lead to this optimum level of, uh, of pollution. So we're recognising that some pollution is acceptable and it's actually a benefit to society because the the, along with the pollution comes the output of the business and whatever that business is producing is something which is beneficial to the community. And now if we were to produce at this level here, then the, uh, the benefit to the business is still quite high and the tax that they, would, that they need to pay on this amount of output is less than the benefit they receive. So the business will, uh, will still benefit by this amount here because that benefit is greater than the tax that they will need to pay. 
So the, bene- the business will produce that output and pay this amount of tax. Okay, so th- that's the amount of tax that they'll pay and they'll receive this amount of benefit here. When we get to the optimum level, the O star level, uh, that's where the business will end up producing and we'll see why. As they move beyond there to this point here, this is the benefit here is the benefit they receive from doing this. So this level here is the benefit, but the tax that they need to pay is greater than the benefit they receive. So there's no point in producing beyond that level because they'll actually have to pay more money to the government than they will receive from producing that extra output. So therefore, it'll be uh, the best position for the business to be at will be the O star level, which is also the best level for society to be at. The business would have would not have uh, produced that amount of output on their own. They would have produced all the way up to O one because they're seeking to to maximise their profits. So the total benefit to the business. If they produced all the way until O1 would be this amount here. They would receive A plus B plus C plus D. If, that's all the benefit they would receive if they produced at O1. However, by Im, uh, implementing the tax, now the, the benefit to the business will be A and the tax which is received by the government will be B plus C. If the business was to keep on producing up until that O1 level, the benefit they would receive from doing that would be this triangle D. This would be the benefit they would receive, but they would have to pay a tax of D plus E. So therefore it wouldn't be worthwhile doing it. And as a result, their output will go backwards until this O star level and the amount of uh, pollution which is in the, in the atmosphere is that optimum level of pollution which is tied to that level of O star. So originally the, the business was receiving the benefit of A plus B plus C plus D and we're operating at this level here of O1. But now output has fallen back down to this O star level. And so now we just have this total benefit of A plus B plus C, but the B plus C part of it goes to the government in the form of tax, and the benefit which the business receives is just A.